So I hypnotized my friend who had has layers and layers of conditioning, right? And he has been so conditioned that he is almost an, an automaton, a, a moist flesh robot that just is just uh, responding and reacting based on his biological drives and impulses and uh, he eats a lot and he's always uh, craving food and, and he's a great guy and you might think well aren't you an asshole to be just talking about your friend like this and I'm like no because uh, this is a friend that I have not seen in 10 years and so we hung out and I can see I could see that he was the same old person a lot except this time there were several more layers of conditioning and the only thing that I could do was to plant a seed because it was like there's no way possible that I could sit there and remove a lot of layers all these layers now let's go meta and spiritual for a moment uh, and you can agree or disagree with this but I personally believe that the first step to healing a person that is conditioned to such an extent to where he barely almost has his own will and consciousness is to visualize him already healed and abundant and free from the enslavement of the conditioning okay now that is the first step is you imagine it and you feel it you imagine that that he is already healed or your friend he or she you imagine that they're already healed and that they're free free from the conditioning that they're free from from it. imagine what it would be like to know them and also to go even deeper your friend is an aspect and a component of you spiritually from a spiritual standpoint they are part of you and so because they are part of you then they are also um, uh, when you're healing them you are also healing yourself at the same time while you're healing them so uh, I want to invite you to continue to watch these videos because uh, about this because my you know the, the the lesson I learned from my friend and everything I learned from that experience uh, really helped me to see someone that 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 was a perfect example someone that is deeply uh, conditioned and come and have a seat and join me I'll be on the stage here uh, uh, but yeah so uh, I'm not I'm not literally coming out here to to do that I'm gonna do it on these videos I just thought it was kind of cool that I just happened to be right there and realized that this was like a uh, stage and a seating event place and I, I, I'd been by here so many times before I did not know that that's what that was until now until I walked down here um, so so yeah we're gonna talk about all kinds of stuff I'm gonna delve into it because because he is a prime example of somebody that uh, has been conditioned to be that way and the, like I said the only thing I could do is plant the seed of change in his mind so that um, slowly the um, the deprogramming can begin to unwind and I'm sure that in a short amount of time see he went back to where he lives in a short amount of time or it might be a long amount of time it might be a month from now it might be a few months from now but but I was able to slowly go into his processes his internal processes to the best of my ability and kind of help cut loose a few tiny strings of conditioning and uh, and it'll be a work in progress and the thing is he will do it himself the idea is that you direct his focus to 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 where he is able to you know look inside and do it 
himself and so that he can you know build himself up to become a new person and the person that he ideally wants to be and uh but remember the first step is from the spiritual standpoint is that you got to imagine them already healed so um like if you i mean it, you can heal people Th this is a we're just energy okay so because we're just energy because we're just energy then and we shift and create our reality then so if, for example if you if you see a homeless person on the street and you feel like you can't do anything about it yes you can you just imagine that homeless person already having overcome their traumas having already overcome everything that is preventing them from obtaining a level of and stepping into a realm of abundance and that's that you do it you feel it in your heart you think it from your heart you think it from your heart and you think it from your uh not just your mind like you think it you use your mind but you also feel it from your heart as if your heart is its own brain and thinking too so you just imagine that person already healed your friend already healed already there because guess what that point in the space of variations that point already exists in an alternative reality that that we all are capable and able to tap into because there is no limit to possibilities and uh so a couple of good books to read is uh any book by joe dispenza i just started reading that book yesterday but i have been watching his youtube videos how to fail at almost everything and still win big by scott adams those are some good books to start with and i'm gonna get off of here we'll talk to you soon